Hello everyone and welcome for uh, the session for particular integrals next rules. In our earlier videos, we discussed rules for exponential, sine and cosine. Today we are going to discuss about uh, rules for algebraic function and if we have combination of exponential and any other function. Let us have a look at rule first. If I am working with an algebraic function where my n is a positive integer. The rule says 1 upon ft operated over xn can be written as fd inverse x raised to n. This fd inverse can be obtained using binomial expansion. Most commonly the standard results 1 upon 1 minus x 1 upon 1 plus x that is 1 minus x raised to minus 1 and 1 plus x raised to minus 1 is used here. So using these results we are going to find the particular integral most of the times. Very rare cases you need to apply for other powers also. The next rule when I have combination. What I have to do is we can have combination of e to the power x with any other expression. This v can be any, any function, it can be an algebraic function, it can be a sine or cosine function. In this way, uh, in this rule, what I need to do is take out e to the power ax and replace d by d plus a. So whatever my a multiplied to x, I'll replace my d with d plus a and then operate it over the v according to the rule. If it is algebraic, we'll apply rule for algebraic function. If it is sine cosine, we'll apply the rule for sine cosine function. This v can directly I'll go with an example so that I can explain you rule 3 which is for algebraic function. Just to understand, for understanding purpose, I have considered the power degree 1 polynomial on RHS. First of all, we will find complementary function. All these rules what we are studying are there for particular integral. So, throughout the chapter, complementary functions rule remains the same as we have discussed in the video for complementary function. So, when I operate 1 upon ft over x plus 1, I will write 1 upon d square plus 4d plus 5 operated. We will try to rearrange the expression so that we can get any one of these two forms. So, looking at the expression, I am going to get 1 upon 1 plus x form. So, let us try to work with, I need a constant to be 1. So, let us take 5 common and rewrite the expression. So, my expression becomes 1 upon 1 plus d square plus 4d by 5. Now this d square plus 4d by 5 becomes my x and I can apply the series 1 upon 1 plus x is 1 minus x plus x square. Definitely since we are working with an algebraic function, this process has to stop somewhere. How? Let's see. If I write the expression, I am getting all powers of the polynomial d square plus 4d by 5. Since my power of x is 1, d square onwards all the derivatives will be 0. So, here onwards all the terms will be 0 for me and I need to simplify only first two terms. Now, let us see, I can split the expressions, I can take x plus 1 with every term. When I simplify it, the first term is x plus 1 as it is, d square when it is operated over x plus 1, here I am going to get 0, 4d x plus 1, I will be getting 4 times 1, like this, and when I simplify it further, I am going to get particular integral like x, plus, x by 5 plus 9 by 25, and then I can write my general solution, complementary function plus particular integral. Let us have a look at another example on rule 4 where I have combination of e to the power a with 
x square that is algebraic function and exponential combination. Again, I will go with uh, complementary function. Real and distinct roots are there. Particular integral. For particular integral, what my rule says that I have to take e to the power x out and d will be replaced by d plus 1. That means I can exp expand my polynomial using d plus 1 now. So when I do so, I will be getting an expression d square plus 2d here. Now again I will try to get, since I am working with algebraic function, I will try to get 1 upon 1 plus x or 1 upon 1 minus x. Here getting 1 plus x and 1, 1 plus x is easier. We will take 2d common and I will get 1 upon 1 plus d by 2. Again expanding it in the series. Power of x is 2. So maximum I can get non-zero derivative as d square. So all other terms, further terms will be 0 for me. This is by rule 3 we can do. Till then 1 upon 2d will be kept as it is. Because we know 1 upon d is an integration. 1 upon 2d, I am getting one polynomial when I operate the series over my x square. After simplifying, that is the quadratic polynomial x square plus x plus half. Now let us keep that half. E, e, 1 upon 2d can be written as 1 upon 2 integrals integral of the obtained polynomial. Taking the integration, I can simplify my expression like this. And that is how we can write the general solution. I hope the things are clear. Because I have taken one example for rule 3 separately when we are operating on algebraic function. Then one example on rule 4 where we are operating over a combination of exponential and algebraic function. Look at a question where we are working with exponential and trigonometric functions combination. Complementary function I have obtained. When it goes to particular integral, e to the power 2x will come out. And since 2 is multiplied with x, my d will be replaced by d plus 2. So let us find it. Simplify the things. We get a polynomial d cube plus 4d square plus here. Again, cos 2x means a is 2 minus a square is minus 4. If I, if I replace d square by minus 4, I am going to get 9d minus 16. Again, by adjustment, we can apply rule 2 here and we can solve it. And we can get the particular integral, final form. Lastly, we will operate this 9d plus 16, which is the operator we have kept outside till we apply rule 2. And that is how you can get your particular integral. And then we can write the general solution y is equal to cf plus pi. There are few exercises where all possible combinations are taken. Only for question number 5 you need to think a little bit because it is combination of 3 functions. But I am sure when you try to solve this question you are going to get the answer very quickly. Just go through the video, try to understand the rules and try to solve the questions.